Hey, what's up? This is your new Warrior Fit workout. So for today's workout, we are gonna be doing lots of movement. We're gonna be standing up from our striking stance, working down from the ground, and then getting lots of movement up on our feet. We've got three different types of movements that we're going to be doing. We're gonna do it for four sets, and each time we go through those sets of those three movement types, we're gonna be decreasing our rest. We're gonna start at a 30 second work, 30 second rest, and then each time we go through, we're gonna take off 10 seconds of rest so that on that last one, you're gonna be going for 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, straight for a minute and a half of work. Once you complete that round, all four sets of the three movements, you're gonna get a little rest, and then you're gonna go through that same interval scheme for three new movements. They're gonna be very similar to the first ones in that we're gonna have a standing, striking position, we're gonna do some work on the ground, and then we're gonna do some evasive, some movement, some footwork, standing up again. So we got a lot of stuff going on. You gotta stick with me here. Let's get to our warm up. so nice and simple. Let's start moving on the spot, nice and light on our feet, getting nice and fast and loose. I want you to get used to this, because this is what you're going to be doing in your rest periods. It doesn't have to be a bounce, maybe it's just gonna be this, where you really focus in on breathing deep in through your nose, down to your belly, exhaling through your mouth. Keeping yourself moving the whole time through. All right, this is a pretty long workout. So I want you to do that first set. Get it done, get four of them done, get that first round done and then feel like, okay, you know what, I got this. And then you're gonna move on to the next round and then the final of the third round. All right, I know you can get that first one done. The second one's gonna be challenging and it's gonna be you gamers who can really get the third round done. So let's do a little more here. Get your feet about hip width apart, toes out a little bit. Let's get some body weight squats. When you hang out down here, I want you to reach for your toes or just have your arms reaching down, push your knees out, get a little reach for the ceiling, back down, reach for the ceiling, down, we're gonna let our hips come up. Get a little shift from side to side, stretch those, those hamstrings. Good, come back down, arms up, and stand up. Let's do that again, squat down. Reach down, push those knees out. Reach up and back, hamstring stretch. Oh, there, back down, squat, arms up, and up. Let's do it one more time, squat down. Push the knees out. Oof. Little hamstring stretch. This is gonna be tight for some of you. Back down, arms up and up. Use a little more space here. We're gonna do a little walkout. We're gonna wake up those hamstrings a little bit more. Feet, hip width apart again. Hands reaching down. If you need to bend your knees to touch the ground, that's okay. Otherwise, arms, legs straight. Walk out, get a little pike. Back here, step, reach up, change, step, reach up. Now I'm gonna say this, when you're in this position, I don't want you to be sloppy, stay solved the whole time, okay? Waking up that core while we're up to this as well. Walk yourself back up, side up, shake out. Let's go again, bend your knees if you need to, touch, walk out. Go into a little pike, downward dog, back to that push up hold, spider lunge, reach. Getting stretching in a whole bunch of different areas, depending how much movement you've been getting in, depending how tight you are. Get another little pike here. Walk yourself back up. Awesome. Let's get a couple reverse lunges. Step back, tap down come up. For some of you, that movement with the foot might be too much. You might just do a split squat right here. Maybe you have a little bit of help from a couch beside you. Whatever you need to do. I was losing my balance there myself. Really get rooted through this foot. Heel, big toe, pinky toe. Ball of your foot on that back foot. Let's get to the other side. Step back. Either split squats or that reverse lunge. Make sure that knee doesn't cave in. Try to keep it in line with the middle of your foot. There we go. Nicely done. 
Let's get a little bit more movement. Step out jacks or seal jacks. You want to just be prepped for all that we're going to get going here. Good. Let's get some lateral squats. You can use a couch for a bit of balance if you need it. As you go through these lateral squats, toes pointed forward, bend one knee, other leg is straight, down to the side. Here, you can grab a hold of something. As we go through our round, remember you're doing four sets of these three movements, cycling through the three four times. Each time we go through, we are going to be adding another layer to the movement that you've been doing. So we're going to make it tougher, okay? A little more complex. If it starts to become too much for you, stick with the first variation. You are not bound to continue following the variations that I'm showing to you, okay? So just be nice to yourself. You can try it out, but listen to your body. Let's do one little bit more of waking things up and then we're going to demo some of the movements. Lying on your back, dig your heels in the ground, drive your hips up, squeeze those glutes, tap down, up, tap down. Let's get a couple more. Really squeeze, drive those heels in, stay nice and tight in that midsection. What's nice about the 30 second rest on the first set through those exercises, nice job, is that it gives you a chance to kind of recover, gives you a little bit of time also to, for me to remind you of what the next movement is. So let's go through the movements, the first three movements, okay? I'm gonna go through the base movements. So the first one is going to be a stepping switch. So I want you, maybe you're gonna use your water bottle or a towel or some reference point, I want you to set up 45 degrees to it. So this is straight on, I'm gonna come out about 45 degrees. In my striking stance, that means one foot is in front, one foot is just a step behind. I'm keeping my feet on two train tracks. So if I'm here, I'm gonna have my foot on one side of that bottle. The stepping stance switch just looks like this. I'm gonna step and pivot. Step, pivot. Look how I change. So I, I make about a 90 degree turn so that I'm 45 degrees to this center line. Step, switch, step, switch. Step, draw the foot back, step, Sweep the leg back, hands staying up, okay? That's our baseline. We're gonna build on it, trust me. We're gonna get a little bit more work on that, okay? The second exercise is gonna be on the ground. It's gonna be a grounded kick. So what I want you to do is have both feet flat, sitting like you're just relaxing here. From here, you're gonna put one foot down out about 45 degrees behind you. Let this knee drop, just like you're kind of posing for a nice little 90s family photo shoot, okay? little fashion shot, okay? From here, what you're going to do is pull the shoulder back and down, lock the shoulder down. You're gonna drive this flat foot into the ground and kick your foot out and then down. I want you to squeeze this glute, this butt cheek as you drive your heel into the ground and kick this leg out like you're kicking somebody's foot clean out from under them, okay? So you're squeezing this glute of the hip that's driving up and also this glute of the leg that's kicking out. Shoulder stays away from ears the whole time. Down, out, down. Pause, feel the squeeze. Down, this hand always up. We're gonna stick to one side the whole time. The next time, we angle out. Hand down, out about 45 degrees, a little bit behind the side. Lock your shoulder here, pop it out, pop it out. If that's a bit too much, you can lie on your back and you could do a single leg glute bridge or a single leg up kick, okay? So those options are there for you. The third movement, we're gonna do a shuffle and squat. So we did some stance work up here. We're gonna add some striking, don't worry. We did some ground work, and then we're gonna do some evasive movements. So we're gonna do a shuffle and squat. So it looks like this, I start on one side, I'm gonna shuffle, one, two, squat. One, two, squat. One, two, squat. Out together, out. Out together, out. All right? So make sure that you don't rush it, that your stance is too narrow. It's okay if it's a little bit wider. It's body weight. 
you're gonna be okay. We're on in about five seconds here. Have a sit, set your center line, let's rock. Step, pivot, step, turn. Nice and easy to start. Keep stepping outside here. Step, turn your body. Step, then sweep it out. There you go. Nice and simple to start. There we go. Couple more. Good, simple. Okay? If that was getting tough, do a couple more reps here in this 30 seconds. Okay, let's get a couple more just to remind. I step, turn my body. Step, turn my body. Okay? We're getting to the ground now. Ground kick. Chilling. Hand out to the side here. We're going to imagine somebody's approaching. Not keeping that social distance. Get ready. Drive your heel into the ground. Kick out. Here we go. Keep that shoulder away from your ears. Pause. Squeeze those glutes. Pause it. Keep those hips up. Down. Don't let those hips just be here. No, no, no. Up. Stick to the one side the whole time. Whole hand on the ground, locked. If that's too much, glute bridge or glute bridge up kick with the one leg. Whoop, whoop. Okay, nice job, nice start. We're gonna go up again. We're gonna do our shuffle squat, our evasive shuffle. So, starting here, out together, out, get into the squat position, squat. Out together, out, get into that squat position, okay? Get ready for it. So it's out together, out, set your squat. Here we go, ready. This is it, out together, out, set the squat. Think you're moving, ducking. There we go, out together, out, set the squat, down. Once you get the rhythm, you kind of Get that flowing together. My hands never drop. If you've got more space, maybe you can do a double shuffle. Okay, I'm just doing a single. Out together, out. We're getting back to standing, gang. We're gonna do that same step and pivot, but this time we're gonna add a jab. So I'm here, this is straight on to you. Angle, step, Boom, jab. Step, boom, cha. Ha. Okay, so set it up, get ready. Three, two, one. Step, pivot, jab. Pivot, that's it. Remember, it's not 180 degrees. It's just 45. It's actually a 90 degree movement. Just a jab. I was getting ahead of myself. It's a 90 degree Turn out at those 45 degrees from center. We're now just at 20 seconds rest. Keep that movement. Nice. We're back down to the ground, gang, but we are not going to stay on that same side. We're going to switch it up. So now, again, I'm relaxing. Hmm. Drop my hand out. Keep that shoulder locked down. Leg kicks out. So from here, hand up, kick out. Hip comes up, squeeze this glute, squeeze this glute. <sighs> Hip goes all the way out. Kick that foot out. Somebody's walking towards, kick that foot out, fall right on their butt. Okay? 10 more seconds, come on now. You can drag it along the ground or get it off the ground, then kick out. Whatever lets you keep going. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do that side shuffle now. So, out together here, little crouch, middle together here, little crouch. Boom, boom, doesn't have to be all the way. Here we go, middle together here, boom. And I like to keep my hands out. 
It's like I'm doing a little ha, move to the side. Attacking, move to the side. Ha. Doesn't have to be a deep lunge. I'm actually thinking of it more of as a crouch. If you like doing that full lunge, you could do that. You could do that too. I've got this little crouch that I'm doing. We're gonna get back to that footwork. Okay, starting here, one foot in front, step, pivot, this time jab, uppercut. It's a scoop with that back hand. Front hand, back hand does a little scoop, step around. Jab, uppercut, jab, uppercut. Here we go, step, pivot, front hand, do a little scoop, pivot the foot, step around. Ha. 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 Think about popping out, bring it back, and yippee, that's how that hand's going. Ha. 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 It's that quick ha. movement, but make sure you pivot, turn your hips for that scoop. Ha. 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 There we go. Our time is dwindling, we're only down to 10 seconds. So we're on the ground again. We're doing our kickouts. Chilling, hand down. This time we're kicking up knee height. If you still need to go low kick, you can do that. If you can pop out high, do it. You gotta keep that shoulder locked down though. It's gonna demand more stability through the shoulder and through this hip and ankle. We're down to that 10 second rest now. It's a lot quicker to have to transition. Remember, we're gonna go to no second rest coming up. Let's get one more. Whoop. We're gonna now, instead of the shuffle, we're gonna do more of a leap or a big step. So here, leap, pause. Leap, cover. Leap, cover. If you need to stick to the shuffle, do that. Here, here, I'm gonna leap, and I'm actually gonna imagine somebody's passing in front of me. I'm gonna leap and push them to the side. It's like they're coming towards me. Get out of the way, pull their sweater right over the head. Pull them down to the ground. Woo! Okay, no rest now. Between the next one, standing up. Pivoting, jab, uppercut, jab, step, jab, scoop, jab. If it's too confusing, stick with just the jab. Or jab, uppercut, or jab, uppercut, jab. <clears throat> this is just a little step, but you start to feel it. We're going to the ground right away after this. Down to the ground now, other side. Grounded kick or kick to knee. Remember, you have the option of single leg glute bridge or single leg up kick as well. Don't forget about that option. Ooh, I feel that stability challenge right here. When we get back to standing, we are going to do that leap. If you were doing the leap. No rest. We're gonna leap, ha, punch. Leap, doesn't matter what hand punches. Ha, punch, move them out of the way, punch. It's like, move them out of the way, next person comes, ba, 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 ba. Ha, you got it. Or just here, 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 maybe that's where you need to be. Ha. Ha, woo, ho, oh, that adds up. How are you doing? That is one round done. Got about a minute and a half. I gotta get my sips here. Think about all the variations I threw at you. You don't need to do all of them. Choose one. Choose one that you feel like, man, that is making me move Maybe a bit of a coordination challenge, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna get to your new group of three movements. The first one is gonna be a switch stance. So one foot's in front, one leg is back. Not narrow, I want you to get a little wider. From here, we're going to knee, bring the leg back, 
Switch our feet, okay? I knee with the back leg, bring it back. Switch my feet, try that out. Knee, back, switch my feet, okay? Just a little shuffle to switch them. That's level one. The second movement is gonna be donkey kick on the ground or back kick. Hands and knees in a bear crawl position. Kick back, down, back, down. You don't have to look over your shoulder every time. I like to, but if that bugs your neck, don't do it. To make it tougher, hovering on your knees. Kick back. The third movement we're gonna do, against that striking stance, one foot back, squat, double punch, weave. Squat, double punch, weave, okay? We're at the first one though, here we are. Knee, back, switch. Knee, back, switch. If you can go faster, you go faster. Boom, ha, ha, boom, ha, ha. Find that rhythm, that speed that gets you. Ha, 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 ha. That works for you, where you can keep it going. Ha, and know what you're doing. Whoop. These are the long rests. Hands on your knees if you need to. In nose, out purse lips. Woo! Okay, on the ground. You might want to match or pad under your knees. Tabletop position or bear crawl. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. To make it tougher, hover. Okay, kicking back, full hip extension. Kick straight behind you, down. Here we go. Imagine now, somebody's coming from behind you. Try to surprise you. Sha. Kick back. Maybe you're just gonna look over your shoulder the whole time so you know where you're kicking. If you're working out with a friend at home, I'm hovering now. You wanna make sure you're not kicking them. You also wanna make sure you're not kicking the furniture. That Ming Dynasty piece of pottery that you have in your apartment. Okay, got that one side. We're gonna hit the other side next time, don't worry. We're up. One foot in front, my left foot in front, my right foot back in that striking stance. I'm gonna get into like a staggered squat position. So I'm still in that, that striking stance, back foot on the ball of my foot. From here, squat up, punch, punch, and now I just do a little bend and I duck under, duck. Squat up, here we go, duck. Squat, punch, punch, weave, squat, Punch, punch, weave. If this doesn't feel great, just stick with traditional squat position. Whew. Squat, punch, punch, weave. You can even change which direction you weave each time. Ah. Punch, punch. Whew. Make sure you're not hunching your back though. It's just this little hinge at the hips. Ha! Ah. Nice. Okay, I need my towel now. We're going to our stance work here, okay? We're going to be doing our triple switch. So from here, knee up, back. Now I'm gonna go one, two, three. Gets me on the other side. Boom, back. One, two, three. Here we go. Knee back, switch one, switch two, switch three, grab, knee back. One, two, three, sha. One, two, three, ha. Some of you need to just stick to a single switch. The rest of you, ha, ha, ha. Find that rhythm, maybe you're here. Maybe you don't step as far back. Totally cool. Ha, whoop. We're at the 20 second rest periods, by the way. Did I mention that? Back to the donkey kick. The back kick. Got a towel down here. If you're like, man, that's too easy, Jethro. What are you giving me here? Hover it. I dare you. Hover it all 30 seconds. Don't let the knee touch in between. You will not regret it. Or you will. I don't know. But it will be more challenging. See that hip extension fully? Tap it down. Tap it down, tap it down. My right leg right now, that's helping support my body, is getting rocked because it's holding that isometric position. 
Try to stay tight in my midsection so I don't arch my back. You don't want that. Oh my gosh. When my kids come to play in this basement, it's going to be a puddle under here. Disgusting. Okay. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did before with that squat, but we're going to have our right foot in front. Squat, double punch, weave. Join me. Squat, double punch, weave. Ha! Ha! Squat. Ba, ba. Ah, there we go. Squat. Ba, ba. That's it. Or neutral position. Ba, ba. Here we go. Ha. Punch, punch. Ha. It's okay if you forget which direction you're weaving. Not a big deal. The squat is straight down. The weave is that slight knee bend. Hips going back a little bit more. Okay. We're going to our 10 second rest period coming up. We're gonna do double punch, knee, then switch. So all we're doing is the same thing we did before, but throwing that double punch before. Ready, do it slow with me if you need. One, two, knee, goes back to where it started, switch. Boom, boom, knee back, switch. Bah, bah. Don't worry, those of you who want a little bit more, it's coming. If you wanna get a little bit more, you could do a kick. Ba 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 ha, ba ba ba. Come on, get that rhythm. Again, you don't have to go as far back as everybody else. You can even do a step switch. Oh, whoo! Down to the ground. This time, from your knees or hover, kick. Step through into lunge. Stand up. Reverse. Kick. Step through. Stand up. Full hip extension as you stand up. Kick. Don't do this. If you know it's not going to feel good on your knees, stick to the original variation. You can even throw in a knee. A knee. Keep it going or stick with this back kick. Couple more. Okay. Back up. This time we're gonna do a rear lean. So from here, a little step back, watch here. Little lateral squat, but at a backward angle. Imagine punch is coming, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Although this leg bends, the weight is primarily here. Boom, boom. You can even go boom, bang. Boom, bring the feet in, punch. Almost there. Hacha. 10 seconds. Okay. Triple switches if you please. Here. Boom, boom. Ha. One, two, three. Ba, ba. Ha. One, two, three. Ba, ba. Sure. One, two, three. Ha, ha. Ha. One, two, three. Ha, ha. Ha. One, two, three. Ha, ha. Ha. One, two, three. We're having no rest between these. Ha. On the ground, we're doing that donkey kick and add the step through if you want. Ha. Donkey kick. Whoop, other leg now. Kick, kick. You can hover if you want or step through. Kick, step up, step up, back, back and kick or add the knee. Only do that. If your body will allow with zero pain. Zero. Otherwise, do the back kick. We're coming up with that backward lean. Other leg in front. Boom. Up. Boom. Up. Boom. Ba. Boom. Ba. Step back a bit. Watch the punches coming. Get out of the way. Ha, ha, Ooh, I'm sweating all over this joint. Ha, ha, a little Van Damme action and punch. Ah! I believe that was the cover of Bloodsport, that pose right there. Pretty sure. Okay, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Get my timer here, make sure it's on point. The timer actually has been right every time. 
I've had to make some adjustments. I made some mistakes. Okay. Adjust. Sip a BioSteel. Back to it. Get into your stance. Okay, we're going to do that footwork again. This time, from your stance, start with that left leg in front. We're going to shuffle in front. Punch, punch. Shuffle back. Punch, punch. Just this little push. Back. Punch, punch. Staying with the same stance the whole time. Left foot in front. If you accidentally do the right foot in front, not a big deal. Just make sure to switch next time. Okay? This time, on the ground, we're getting to a crouch. Okay, if you know this is going to bug you already, do this at a couch. So, the couch version is semi-squat, hands down, step back, step back, and then hold it there. And then step forward, up. If you can, step back, step back, elbow back, up. On the ground, we're going to squat, walk our hands forward, elbow down, walk our hands back. Okay, I'll get to the third one when we get to it. Let's start with our shuffles, though. Here we go. Shuffle, bang, bang. Shuffle back, bang, bang. You're moving in towards somebody. Pop them. They're coming towards you. Shuffle back. Retaliate. Whoo, gotta get that sweat off. Boom, ha, ha. Boom, ha, ha. Shuffle forward, ha. Shuffle back, ha, ha. Shuffle forward, ha, ha. Shuffle back. Come on now. Same timing scheme with that work to rest. It keeps dwindling. Keeps becoming less. My wife is gonna be really upset that I didn't put a mat down today. Whoop. Okay. Second one, I just showed it to you. At the couch or on the floor. Okay, we're going to be here, we're going to crouch, you can be as low in that squat as you're comfortable with, again, if you're on the floor, you're going to walk your hands forward, if you're at the couch, you're going to walk your feet back, elbow, it's like thinking about loading up that punch and then not punching it, coming up, down, step back, loading up that punch and then not punching it, on the ground, here we go, walk it out, control, ah, ah, Walk it out, control, back. Those hips can turn. Watch my hips. My hips and my feet can turn if you want. Ah. Or just that little bit of hip rotation. So whatever feels good. Ah. Ah. Last one, finish this one off. Ah. Okay, third one, you didn't get to see that one yet. Okay, we're going to Repeat some of the ones we've done already. I'm giving you so much new stuff. Let's do something you've done. You can do shuffle squat. So from here to the middle, together, out, squat. Middle, together, out, squat. Just stick with that. If you're gonna throw those punches and stuff, you can do that too. All right, I'm trying to put something in familiar. Together. If you wanna make it tougher, stay low, out, together, ha, ah, out, together. Ah, that's tough. Staying in that crouch position the whole time, that's not easy. Halfway through, you end up finding the rhythm. I'm not always perfect with that out together. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Woo! That's a little fire on those thighs. Okay, we're gonna do that shuffle again, front back. This time though, instead of our left foot in front, it's our right foot in front, okay? I'm gonna angle this way so you get a better look at me while I'm doing it. Got 10 seconds. I gotta say, I really appreciate the longer rest on the first rounds, or the first sets as we go to the new rounds. Here we go. Shuffle, punch, punch, shuffle back. Push away, pop, pop. push forward, pop, pop. push back. Push forward, push back, push forward. Ha, 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 here we go. Ha, keep moving quick, keep moving quick. Ha, ha, hands don't drop, hands don't stop. Woo, hands are gonna give you everything they got. Okay, what was that? What are we doing? Okay, now push up. To step out. Okay, you could be here, step out, step in, to go into this thing or on the ground. 
So I'm going to be here, out, step in, step out, back, step in, step out, pause, in, out, just changing the challenge to my upper body here. I make it a little bit easier, a little bit tougher. I personally like to turn my feet a bit more so I can turn my hips a bit more. Ooh. Okay, rest is dwindling. We're doing shuffle to short lunge. Get a quick sip if you need it. It's gotta be quick though. Oh, okay, now we're doing shuffle, little crouch, ha, crouch, ha. I just have my hands up here, imagining these attacks, getting out of the way, to the middle, together, out, into this position, with that little step behind, ha, 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 do you find my noise is funny? It's what I do. It's what I do when I'm training. Ah, imagining ah, all these attackers. Whoop! Oh man, love it. Okay. We're going through set three. What are we doing? Did I skip something? Push up, shovel short lunge. Uh, oh, shuffle stance. Okay. We're going to get a pivot now. Watch. Shuffle forward. Boom, boom. Shuffle backward. And now you're going to pivot on the front foot. Boom, boom, pivot back. Shuffle forward, boom, boom. Shuffle backward, pivot. Boom, boom, shuffle back. Ba, ba. Here, new attacker. Boom, boom, back. Boom, boom, shuffle back. Front foot, pivot. Ba, ba. Come back to that new original direction. It's the front foot that pivots. That's a tricky one. Don't worry if you didn't get it. Not a lot of time. Down to the ground. Starting here. Hop in, out. Ha. In, out. You can always just do the steps. I shouldn't say just. The steps are tough. You can also do it on the couch, remember. Hands on the couch. Ha. Ha. So, however you want to think of it, I'm kind of looking at my elbow. So you can think of it as elbowing someone behind you, or that, that threatening position, back, boom, boom. I'm gonna hit you. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Up to you. Okay, we're gonna do the squat stance or the fighting stance. Squat, punch, punch, weave. Remember this one? Squat, punch, punch, weave. Squat, punch, punch, weave. There we go. Ha. Always resetting with that squat. Come on, let's get a couple more. Remember, you can do it from that neutral position if you need to. The next time we come through that other stance. Okay, back to the beginning. Other leg in front now. Ready. Shuffle, punch, punch. Shuffle back, pivot. Boom, boom, pivot back. I shuffle forward. Right leg in front, shuffle back, right foot pivots, moving my left foot around, moving my left foot back, ba ba, ha, ha, ba ba, ha. You're just ready for anything that comes towards you, ha, ha. Training for any situation, ha, okay. Uh, we're going back to the beginning, we're on the ground, Whew, what are we doing? Oh, here, you can do the hop in and out, or you can do triple spider switch. One, two, three, elbow on the same side as the leg that's up. One, two, three, elbow. One, two, three, elbow. One, two, three, elbow. One, two, three, elbow. Get ready, get up in that stance. Right foot in front, left foot behind. Squat, punch, punch, weave. Punch, punch, we're almost there. Squat, punch, punch, weave, punch, punch. Get into neutral if you need to. Ha, ha. Squat, punch, punch, weave. 
squat. I think I added some extra punches there one time. That's okay, as long as we're working. But I gotta listen to my own directions too. Whoop, ha, last couple seconds. Whoop, and bang, bang, bang. Oh my goodness. Mission complete, training complete. How y'all doing? Not gonna lie. Feeling it. The carpet is gonna need a little bit of a, a cleaning after this. With the salt deposits I'm leaving, not a big deal though. Okay, awesome job. Let's take some time to slow our breathing now. I didn't really, I didn't really model this during the workout because I was demoing what we we're doing. But this is a chance to do this. Keep moving, deep breath in through your nose, fill that belly, slow exhale through pursed lips. Yeah, that fast loose position, focus that breathing. Get a sip of water in a little bit. You just don't wanna sit down right away. Okay, shaking it out. Excellent, excellent job. Okay, come back to this one. Maybe you didn't make it all the way to the end doing all the work. You're watching me right now, so you watched it through, which is great. Maybe you got the first part done, the second part was a struggle. That's all good. Next time, try to crush that second part. Maybe you got the second part down, the third was a, whatever. Okay, that's the nice part about having a workout that goes in chunks, you can build up to it. And remember, always work to your ability level, right? And that ability level will change with practice though, okay? So stick to it, fight the good fight, stay well, take care, I'll see you in the next one.